All right, here we are, part three of um, Unit Q review. Okay, so now we have this circular region of space. This this is just a circular region of space. It's got a uniform magnetic field, but it's not constant. It's changing with time. It's changing at a rate of four Teslas per second times t, or it's changing at a rate of four Teslas per second. And this equation will tell you, if you put in a t, what the field is there. So at t equals zero, it's zero, it's zero. But at t equals one second, it's four Teslas and so on. Okay, could you tell me um, which way um, the th electric field is going right here? Which way is the electric, there'll be an electric field induced. Which way will that electric field be going right there at that point? Go ahead and try. Okay, to get this, I'm going to put in a Faradian loop. And I'm going to pretend like it's made out of metal. And if it is made out of metal, then you see that magnetic field, it's increasing with time. And so um, if it's increasing with time, it's going to try, it, that means the X's are getting greater and greater. So it's going to try and make um, dots. And to make dots, it's going um, to to stop the flux, the flux from changing inside it. And so it's going to um, induce a field this way. That's the direction of the field. Um, this would be the another direction of the field if I asked you it for that point. Okay. Now, could you tell me um, how big the field will be if um, if you're a distance, say, um, r over two? So you're not all the way out there. You're just at r over two. So how big will the field be there at r over 2? Okay, hopefully you tried it. If you didn't, pause and try it. Okay, so let's see how this works. I'm just going to apply Faraday's Law. So the EMF induced is the EMF induced is equal to negative derivative of flux with respect to time. But it's also equal to the closed loop integral of E dot DL. And these E's are on the Faradian loop. And these DL's make up the Faradian loop. And um, this magnetic flux, this is magnetic flux. And this, is the, this only refers to the flux that's inside the Faradian loop. Okay, so this is what I'm after. That E is what I'm after. Okay, so how much, how fast is the flux changing with time? Well, first I have to get an equation for flux. So it's going to be negative derivative with respect to time. And here's my equation for flux. It's going to be B, 4 Teslas over seconds, times T, times the area. And the area is going to be pi times um, R squared over 4. Isn't that the area of this? Okay, and that's going to equal the closed loop integral of E dot DL. Let me show you some DLs. Um, here's a DL, here's a DL, here's a DL, there's a DL. These DLs, they make up the Faradian loop. And so notice that at every point along the way, E and DL, they're parallel to each other, so we can get rid of the dot product. I'm also going to pull the E out of this integral because why would we expect E to be any greater here than here than here than here? Because of the symmetry of the situation, it's always going to be the same. And so um, this side is going to be done. It's just going to be E when I pull the E out. And then when I add up all the DLs, that's what this integral is telling me to do. It's just going to be 2 pi times R over 2 the circumference of a circle. Okay, let me take this derivative with respect to time. When I do, that's just going to um, go to f that, that t. Well, everything else can be pulled out of the integral. And the derivative of um, t with respect to t is just 1. And so that's going to give me um, a negative 4 Teslas per second um, pi r squared over 4. And so now we can get rid of some stuff here. Get rid of the pi. Get rid of one of the r's. Get rid of um, this 2 and make that a 2. 
um, get rid of this 2 and make this a 2. And so, and then we have a 2 and a 2, so those disappear. So the E is going to be equal to, um, is it just equal to 1 Tesla per second times R? I think so. If I did my math right. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, next one. I'm going to split this into two smaller videos because I'm running out of batteries here. So I have to get more batteries. So I'm going to stop there and get some batteries. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.